Right, back again uh, with, with Peggy the Pinsgower. Um, and we're going to be finishing off our brake service today. It's been two weeks since I started that brake service. Um, it's pretty, it'll be much um, rain continuously since we last uh, stopped because of the rain. Um, so Scottish weather and all that has, has paid its price on, on, our, on my plans. But we'll get that those pads finished today um, and we'll move on from there. So, has a bit of a guide of the differences of the new pads. Uh, very worn pads that were on it. Uh, not as bad as I've seen, but there's not that much life left in them. Uh, so it's a good thing we're changing them all.
So now we've got all the brakes done, uh, we're going to torque up the wheel nut and then put on the directional arrows uh, to make sure that we, we know that the wheel nuts haven't loosened off at any point. So we'll put it down on the ground and we'll go and get the torque wrench out. So they're getting torqued up, getting torqued up to 200 newton meters. So Socket on. Check we're going the right direction. These are our directional wheel nuts. We'll give them a wipe. So there's five on each wheel, one for each nut. And what they do is, you'll have seen them on uh, commercial vehicles and things possibly. You put them on the wheel nuts. Uh, and you line them up in a specific fashion and if they come out of that fashion when you're doing your daily checks then you know that one of your wheel nuts is loose. Um, generally what you do is you put them on the wheel nuts so the arrows are pointing towards each other um, and that's fine when you've only got uh, you've got an even number of wheel nuts however this has got five um, so you end up with two pointing towards each other and one pointing towards the next one. Um, your other option is that you could point, you could have them all pointing around in a circle, um, but that leads to a little bit more um, of a risk. Um, so you end up you you try and get them as much as you can pointing towards each other. So one last thing we need to do as, the, as part of the brake service, um, as we've compressed all the cylinders all the way around the vehicle, that will have forced fluid back up into the reservoir and it now be over full. So we need to um, basically get rid of some of that fluid. Uh, first thing we need to do, pump the brake, make sure that all the pads are in contact with the discs and then we need to use uh, some kind of vacuum pump um, to get that, that excess fluid out of the, the cylinder. <coughs> so 
this is a bit of a new tool to me, uh, vacuum pump, uh, lots and lots of different uses. Um, I've got it for this truck because we're going to need it for quite a lot of jobs. Um, the, there's a whole vacuum system in the, the drivetrain that we're going to be doing a whole video on, trying to uh, check all that out. So that, that's going to be something that comes along the way. Um, so we're just going to use this with a little bottle to uh, suck some of that excess fluid out the, the uh, brake reservoir. So that's basically how we've got it set up. Uh, and as I pump this, it is going to suck up whatever I'm the, the end of the hose is in. <clears throat> so huge amount of excess fluid in there, uh, got that out, uh, luckily it just filled up just as it was about to have to empty it and refill it, um, so that, that's just to, to suck out the excess so it's down to the maximum mark, um, so I'll take these and I'll get these cleaned off and then put the tools back which is always a good bit of advice to do as clean as you go along. So that's all the brakes done for just now. Uh, good job. Um, and we are now going to get into uh, other jobs going forward. Um, the w next video is going to be looking at the um, transmission oil change. Uh, all the oils underneath uh, the, the vehicle, both differentials, the um, low and high speed uh, gearbox and the main five speed gearbox. So we'll uh, get into that in the next video. Look forward to that.